cannot believe it happens again. I can. Shut up. How many times is that now? Do you really think I keep count after this long? 20. All right, 26, are you happy now? <laughs> yep, that sounds about right. Haven't I already asked you to shut it? I advise you not to be rude. The only person willing to hear you complain about your love life, all right? <laughs> love life? I don't know if you can even call it that. I mean, I think you actually have to be in love, or at least in a relationship, to have a love life. No, not necessarily. You know what I mean. I'm not talking about sexual escapades here. I'm not that kind of guy. Well, maybe you should be, because clearly whatever you're trying right now isn't exactly uh, panning out for you. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, but it seems like you're acting like you're not in the same situation as me. I'm not. Um. You sure about that? Because the last time I checked, which was about 20 seconds ago, <laughs> yeah, you were. No, I am not. I'm right where I want to be. Really? OK, so how are things working out with Tanya? Perfect. I saw her yesterday, and things were progressing very, very nicely. Uh-huh. <laughs> and how many times did she mention Jeremy? I don't want to talk about it. Ha <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! You're in the same spot I am! No, I am not! I am taking my sweet time, and soon, Tanya will come to her senses and realize she's completely head over heels for me. She calls you the brother she never had. Do you really want to argue about the bothersome details of my current relationship, or do you want to talk about what's actually going on between you and uh, Desiree? You're not in a relationship. Shut up! <laughs> now who's the one being rude? Face it, Neil. You're in the same spot as me. We're in... Don't say it. The friend zone. <laughs> I told you not to say it. Why not? It gains power whenever someone speaks its name. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's true, so we might as well come to terms with it. We are the master zone, the friend zone. Would you cut that out? You know, for a guy as far as you, I would have never pegged you. Poor superstitious person. It's not superstition. I'm acknowledging the supernatural. Any person with an average amount of intelligence will be seen. There are supernatural phenomena in this world that cannot be explained. Or understood. <laughs> I can see that this is one of those phenomena. So, what shall we call it then? Mace that shall not be named! No, don't be ridiculous! Uh, how about... The Zone? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose it's all right. <laughs> well, as I was saying, you and I, buddy, we are the masters of... The Zone. Mm. Huh. Well, then, I guess I have you to thank for ruining my life. <laughs> what are you talking about? What did I do? I was enjoying myself perfectly well up until now, and then you said that. It completely ruined everything. That's absurd. You and I know full well that you were in the zone before I said it. <laughs> no, I did not. The zone is not something you realize on your own, and if you do, it's only after it's too late. The zone is something that has to be pointed out to you, and you're the jerk that ruined it for me. Like that episode of Doctor Who. Doctor Who. British science fiction TV show. <laughs> right, so, in series four of Doctor Who, David Tennant is the doctor at this point, by the way. Brilliant man, David Tennant. Anyway, in series four, the doctor has a companion called Donna, who somehow, some way, gets a truly strange, mysterious beetle thingy on her back that transports her into an entirely alternate dimension. Enchon! Enchon! <laughs> anyway, this beetle, it doesn't just transport her there, it actually feeds off this alternate dimensional energy, and she's none the wiser. She literally has no idea that things even there. But of course, 
other people can see it, and it's not that someone actually points it out to her that she's even aware that it's there, and of course, she completely freaks out. The friend zone is exactly like that. You know, that is getting really old. <laughs> I think it's kind of funny. Friend zone! <laughs> you said it too! What happened this time? Oh, uh, uh, I, I, I have no idea. Uh, we were spending a lot of time together and things were going splendidly. <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't they? She's a fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> She's a fantastic girl. Would you let me? So, the other day we met up at my place to watch a movie together, and she was acting really strange. She wouldn't even cuddle with me, which is new, because she used to always cuddle with me whenever we'd watch a movie together. She even dug me the title, Cuddle Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what the heck is that? A mixed signal, if you ask me. Then, after the movie, she kept bringing up some douche named Brian. Wait, what, what makes him such a douche? <coughs> well, he spells his name B-R-Y-A-N. Oh. Yeah. Douche. <laughs> Wait! What day did that happen? Last. Tuesday, why? That's why you skipped dinner with me. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetheart. Are we dating? No, but at the risk of sounding cliche, bros before hoes. <laughs> Case in point, I am the old bro, whereas she is not. Speak of the devil. <laughs> what? Uh, she's here. <laughs> Look away, I'm not here. Thank you. 
see after tonight if Brian sees her again. <laughs> uh, what do you mean? Well, let's just say that Brian plans on putting another notch in his bedpost. Maybe you know what Brian's saying. Oh! <laughs> oh. Um, Neil, get him out of here before I do something I'll go to prison for. Why don't we go outside for a minute? You can tell me about how much time he's been at the gym, huh? Does that sound like fun? Yeah! Brian thinks that's fun! <laughs> <laughs> I bet you think all the time, huh, Brian? <laughs> what? Nothing. I don't want you to hurt yourself, man. It's a problem. <laughs> Brian stretches every day. Oh, a stretch. <laughs> Anyway. 